Hi, I'm the Smoking Elk, and today we are grilling the mackerel on the Weber kettle. One of the requests that I get quite often is um, how to cook fish on the grill, how to not have your fish stick on the grill. I'm no expert when it comes to seafood and when it comes to fish, uh, but I will try and give you the basics on how not to let this fish stick to the grill. Um, there are people better placed than me out there to give you good advice on cooking seafood over fire. Uh, Barbecue Bill, uh, Bill Gardner, and it's in the smoke. Uh, Steve Johnson, spring to mind, both uh, doing fantastic things with seafood over fire. I know we're near on their level, but um, I'm gonna try and show you the basics. So first things first, we've got some mackerel fillets here. Um, and as with any meat that you're gonna cook on the barbecue that you wanna get a nice sear on, um, you want it to be dry, don't want any water on there. So as you'll see here, I've got the mackerel fillets, sat some kitchen roll to take away the moisture from the skin. I'm gonna use another bit of kitchen roll and we're just gonna dry these as much as possible without damaging the fish. If you put wet fish on your grill, and um, that's when your skin's gonna stick, you're gonna try flipping it, it's all gonna stick to the grill. It's gonna be a fishy mess. You've, your grill's probably gonna stink with, with fish for a few weeks afterwards, and no one wants that. So, dry the mackerel is stage one. We're gonna be cooking these on a Weber kettle. Uh, we're gonna be doing directly over the coal. Um, so what we wanna do is, um, as much as I like to stay lubricated, this fish needs to be lubricated. So we're gonna give it a thin coat of oil, um, but for this, for this dish, um, I flavoured the oil with some classic Indian spices. We've got some, uh, got a teaspoon of cumin, a teaspoon of coriander. We've got a pinch of uh, cayenne, a pinch of turmeric in there, and um, some salt and pepper. So we're gonna, um, we're just gonna flip these, uh, these fillets over, these beautiful mackerel fillets. And again, make sure the skin is dry. I do love mackerel. Mackerel absolutely loves fire. Um, one of, the, one of my favorite fish to cook um, over fire. The taste of the char, the fire, the flames, the charcoal, whatever it is with the fish, it's just a match made in heaven. So if you're new to cooking fish on a barbecue, mackerel is a surefire winner um, as a good way to introduce yourself to fish on the barbie. So again, just making sure the skin is nice and dry. And then what we're gonna do, is make myself a little bit of room. We're just gonna score the skin Nice sharp knife, just gonna score that in a few places. That way the oil um, with the flavors are gonna just penetrate that fish slightly. Um, so on all four of those, we're just gonna go ahead and score the skin. The last one, be gentle. You don't wanna go all the way through the fish. So even if you have to just do it nice and slowly, nice sharp knife, we'll see you through. So now what we wanna do is we're gonna oil these up with these uh, with this Indian spiced oil. Um, just to give these a boost of flavour. Um, see, just to show the first time that I did, a bit too aggressive with the knife and we've almost gone through the fillet. Mistakes do happen, it's still gonna taste just as good. Just have to be careful with that one on the grill. So, got your fillets. We've got this lovely spiced oil. And what we're gonna do is just take a brush and just brush this on to each fillet. Get the rest of this, this is the important side. Definitely want oil on the skin side um, to help, mainly to make sure it doesn't stick to your grills, but also to get that flavor onto that skin. Because like I said, crispy skin with a lick of flame is absolutely beautiful. So now we're just gonna let that sit um, while we go and light the barbecue. We're gonna let that sit for 15, 20 minutes while the coals come up the temperature, barbecue comes up the temperature, and then we're gonna get our grill on. Obviously, you want a clean grill. So when your grill's nice and hot, I'm just gonna brush it down. And then what I like to do, is take a bit of kitchen roll, dip it in some oil, and just oil the grates. This helps a bit more with the cleaning, and also helps a bit more for that fish not to stick. I'm just gonna oil those up. Never stick fish on a cold grate, uh, on a cold grill. So you want your grate nice and hot before you put the fish on. Okay, so the grill grate is nice and hot. We're gonna go ahead and stick these mackerel fillets skin side down 
on that grill grate. And then we're just gonna go ahead and pop the lid on. The reason we stick the lid on is to stop the flare ups. Um, we wanna cook the fish with the heat from the charcoal, not the fire. We don't want the flames, um, we don't want the flames burning the fish. We want that heat, lovely radiant heat under the fish, cooking it as we go. Another top tip to make sure your fish isn't going to stick, the fish will let you know when it's ready to turn. If you can pick it up like that and it comes away from the grill, it's ready. If it's still sticking, it needs longer. So these are ready to turn, so we're going to give them a quick flip. Just going to move these over to the indirect side because they are ready and we don't want that skin to burn. And then I'll show you exactly what we're dealing with underneath. So as you can see there, we've oiled the grates and we've oiled the fish and there's not one bit of it that's stuck. Show you what we're looking for and what we've achieved. So we're just gonna flip this ever so slightly and look at that beautiful char along that skin, which is exactly what we're looking for. The fish isn't quite ready yet, so we've moved it all over to the indirect side. Just to finish off, we're not far off. We're gonna pop the lid back on, have a couple of minutes. And there we go, like I said, beautifully charred skin, without burning, flesh, perfectly cooked. My plating skills leave a lot to be desired. I don't make gourmet food, but I do make damn tasty food. I've been The Smoking Elk, thanks for watching, and I'll catch up with you next week.